<laughs> All right, guys. Welcome back to Knife Mania. Still up north. If you're wondering about the bandana, bandana, it's just plain simple hot. Grab my beer. What do we got? What am I trying out? One everyone told me not to do. It is Operator 7 by Tops. And I need some firewood so I can cook dinner. I got some brats to cook. Ooh, they ain't sitting there. Woo. A few knots in there, but that's okay. <laughs> that is like the max of this blade. Which one do I like? That? There we go. So, hopefully, y'all can see that. It is like the max of that blade. <laughs> Not bad. Now what I am trying to, what I am going to try to do is do as many of these videos tonight. That way I don't have so many to do throughout the next couple days while I'm here. Um but yeah. Uh, someone mentioned, don't do that, don't, don't, don't go out and just beat the hell out of wood with that knife, it's made for self-defense, I get that, you're right, but if y'all remember, I bought this knife as a survival knife, and as a survival knife, you're going to ask it to do things that you normally wouldn't ask it to do. Ooh, that part was rotten. Ooh, there's a breeze, finally. Oh, wicked knot there. Now, I'm not going to lie to you, a lot of this wood is old. It's, uh... Just old jack pine. So Ow. Ooh, that came back and hit me in the knuckle. There we go, right through that knot. I swear, everybody and their brothers up here this weekend. Let's see what we got here. Buggy, two of them. Cool. Or oh, I do love that smell. Oh, that smells so good. I'm trying to separate the rotted stuff from the good stuff. I mean, that stuff will be very punky. It'll be good to keep the bugs away, though. Give me the good stuff. That reminds me, that's another reason why you might baton. The outside of the wood might be rotten, you know, kind of punky, but the inside might still be solid. There we go, yeah. That split beautifully. What are you? 
You punky. You're punky. All right. I know this is going to be awkward for me, especially using such a big knife. Well, let's see about feather sticking, shall we? Oh my. Oops. Oops. A lot of good curls I'm getting are falling off. But anyway. <clears throat> yes, you definitely can feather stick with it. <laughs> oh. Let's see here. That one seems to be solid. Oh, that one sounds solid. All right, last one. I got a little pile of good wood here. Now, like I said, I'm going to go ahead, after I'm done with this video, I'm going to go grab another one, grab some more wood. I really got to watch what I say. Grab some more logs. Man, that breeze feels great. Oh yeah, that one's much more solid. Oh yeah. Hopefully you guys can see that right through a knot. Oh yeah. Ooh. Oh, that one hit me in the nuts. Ow. Oh. <coughs> yeah, this <coughs> this log was much more solid. Must have been one of the on oh, the outside's a little punky. But it must have been one of the ones I cut up just uh last year. Yeah. Heck, I might get all my firewood done in one night for uh, three nights. Whoops. Butterfingers McGee over here again. Another knot in there. That's the only thing with jack pine. There's a lot of knots in it. See? That knot's on the inside. And that one can be split again. Beautiful. So, can you baton with it? Absolutely.
Can you start a fire with it? Eh, maybe. Um, I can't find my ferro rod. I thought I packed it, but I can't find it. So, the old big lighter. one thing a lot of people forget when you're getting ready for a fire man, make sure your stuff's prepared just make sure you're done you're ready to go otherwise you get that fire started and then you're scrambling to find all your kindling and everything else if you can't tell everything out here is really dry so I gotta really watch what kind of fire I make That's too punky. That one's not bad. Yeah. Come here, you. This piece is a little small, but actually, I wonder. Oh yeah, that worked beautifully. <sighs> oh. oh, almost. Oh, almost. Can I do it? You can do it! <laughs> or in the way of the warriors, can you dig it? Oh! <sighs> Oh, yeah. All right. Oops. <laughs> like I said, the wood's nothing special, guys. It's just jack pine. So don't get super excited. It's not even maple. It's... <laughs> it's like one step away from balsa wood. <laughs> Ooh. So, the complaint I have with this as a survival knife is the weight. It's, it's heavy. It's like three-eighths of an inch spine. But as far as wood processing, well, you guys seen how that went. Um, <laughs> I'm just having fun chopping with it now. <laughs> so, what do I think? Awesome size comfortable um, it's a 1075 it's the operator 7 made right here in the US of A um, yeah uh, if you're interested in one go out and get one put it through hell <sighs> what in the world but 
Now I'm going to clean up this mess. I'm going to stack the wood where it needs to be. I'm going to get some more logs. I'm going to go grab another knife. However, it's not going to be as big as this. <laughs> so uh, I got to pick through my pile a little more carefully. Um, and we'll go from there. I just heard something in the woods. But until next time, guys, keep your knives sharp, keep your fingers out of the way, and be safe out there. What can I say? Operator number seven. Or operator seven. Ooh, that's still sharp. So, there you guys have it.